Hi, I'm here at the Gambler's General Store with Bob Dancer. Bob is one of the foremost experts in the world on video poker. He has uh, been a professional video poker for many years now. You, you, you still do it. You have a series of uh, books on how to play video poker. Uh, your most popular one was a Million Dollar Video Poker, how you won a million dollars playing video poker. You have software out there, a whole line of video poker products. And can you tell us uh, your background in video poker? Well, I started in 94. I moved to Vegas in 93 as a blackjack counter. It didn't take me long to have casinos tell me don't do that anymore. So I went to Gambler's Bookstore, which is where the name of the place we're, do we're taping this at is the Gambler's Bookstore, but it was on a different location on uh, 11th Street um, off of Charleston. Looked very hard to go see, find books so I could make a living without getting a job. Came across video poker and got it, bought everything there was. At that time, there was books by Dan Paymar, Stanford Wong, Bradley Davis, uh, Lenny Frohm, and read them all, decided I could do better than that, and I've been in video poker ever since. Okay, and what was your most successful run in, in video poker? Well, there was a, a $1 million six-month period, so there's only been one of those, damn it. Uh, but I'd started seven years earlier with a $6,000 bankroll and moved up. Um, one of my books, an autobiography, tells about that journey. It's more, it's not a, it's not a book on how to play the hands. We have other books for that. It's how to win. Uh, what you talk about with the casinos, um, when to change casinos. In that book, we describe when to bribe change girls. Um, Lots of bankroll considerations, lots of things. Okay, now, can you explain? A lot of people don't understand. They, they think that uh, video poker is the same as a slot machine. But video poker actually is a game that can be beaten, unlike a slot machine, which is basically pure luck. Now, can you explain why video poker can be beaten? Yes, and slot machines with progressives can be beaten. There's, a, there's skill in slot machines with progressives, so it's not all pure luck. But in video poker, um, in most states, the cards are dealt fairly. What we mean by fairly is every unseen card has an equal chance of showing up next. So the ace of spades is just as likely to show up next as the seven of clubs or the deuce of hearts. That's what we mean by fair. On the front of the video poker machine is a pay schedule. How much you get for four of a kinds, how much you get for full houses, how much you get for flushes. There is a code. And over time you learn that when full houses get this much and flushes get this much, this game returns a certain amount. Um, the best common version of Jacks are Better is 99.5%. A common version of double double bonus is 99% even. A common version of Deuces Wild, well, there's a lot of them from, there's lots of different Deuces Wild. And so you learn what these return. Then you need to factor in how much the slot club pays. Slot club is from the casino. You put in a credit card kind of thing, and it gives you points. Sometimes they pay you back in cash. Sometimes it is in free play. Sometimes it's in the terms of monthly mailers. Sometimes it's your points can get you free meals and rooms. Every slot club is different. And then casinos have promotions. It might be in January. If you hit a royal flush, you might get a logo jacket. Or uh, they, you might earn drawing tickets for a a drawing that is worth so much. Or there might be point multipliers where instead of giving say 0.2 percent you would get 0.4 percent or 0.6 percent on a particular day or a particular week. Those are all examples. You need to add that all together. You need to find the right game, know what the slot club pays, 
do it during promotions uh, and add it all up. Okay, now, now one thing though, please. So, but this can't be done at every casino. It can only be done at some casinos, correct? But you can add it up at every casino. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't re add up to more than 100%, then you are playing with a house advantage and you have no long-term chance. If the house has the edge, you are going to lose. Maybe not today, but over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, the edge is going to grind you down. The very first principle of successful gambling is make sure you have the advantage before you play. Okay, so now the topic of our video today is how to become a professional video poker player. So I guess uh, you, you, you've told us what's involved, but uh, now when you first started, I believe there, was be there were better video poker games out there. They were more liberal back then. But through the years, the casinos have tightened up the machine. So I guess uh, for the people out there, uh, uh, one of the first questions is, can it, is the ability still there nowadays to become a professional video poker player, number one? Okay, short answer is yes. Everything you said was true with conditions. When I started, the games were much looser, but the knowledge to beat them wasn't widely available. Today, through books and software and websites and podcast, the information on how to beat the game is widely available, or at least relatively widely available, and the games are tighter. So back then and today, probably the top 5% of players are successful at it. Um, if you could take today's knowledge back to the early 90s, yeah, you'd clean up real big. But you don't, we didn't have today's knowledge back in the 90s. So with today's resources, yes, you can still eke out a small edge. Um, there are relatively few players who make, you know, 100,000 or more a year. There are some, uh, and they're relatively few. There, there were more of those back in the 90s. Okay, so but now so it can be done. So now, if, if someone's out there and they're interested in this, what is the first? And you had mentioned the various payback per percentages on the game. So I guess number one is what to find the the best game with the best payback percentage. Payback percentage is one factor. The if you want to learn, you basically have to start studying. Um, this is not supposed to be an infomercial, but basically, if you want to become a professional video poker player, Bob Dancer is required reading, period. So there's a number of different products. Um, with Steve's permission, I'll go through what they are briefly, and then I'll, I'll finish. Is that May I do that? that that's fine. All Show right. us what you got. Show us what you brought along, Bob. We have strategy cards for nine different games. These are six-sided, meaning tri-fold, um, and are written on both sides. On each of the cards, there are four different strategies. They're from raw beginners to recreational to basic to advanced. The advanced is, for most of these games, is 100% perfect. The for players who play once a month, the recreational is probably good enough. For players who play on a regular basis and the money they play with is important, the basic strategy is important. You can be a professional learning only basic strategy. For those of us who do not want to give any extra pennies to the casino that we don't have to in order to do this, then you want to get into the advanced strategies. The advanced strategies add a slight bit more, but they're tough. They're, they're complicated. Okay, so first you got to find the right machine and then you have to use the proper strategy. You Did do you have to it? find the right machine. And the resource for that is probably vpfree2.com. VP as in video poker, free as in you don't have to pay for it, and the number two. 
So bpfree2.com lists every casino in the country with the good pay schedules. Generally, it's 99% and higher. Sometimes it'll say nothing worth playing. Sometimes there's so many good machines, they go up to 99.2% and higher. And so you get a good idea of what games are available. So you're going to need to play games in your area or decide only to play when you come to Vegas or some other casino center. So which games are in your area is the first bit of research you have to do. VPFree2.com is probably uh, the best resource for that. The information there is not 100% accurate, but it's pretty good, and it is better than what most of you could figure out by going through the, and checking every single machine. There are lots and lots and lots of games in a casino. There can be uh, even a reasonable size casino might have 600 or 1,000 video poker machines, but some of those have 20, 30, or 50 games on each box, or even more. So checking all of them for pay schedules is very, very time-consuming. BP Free 2 does it for you. Also, one other thing, excuse me, about the BP Free 2 is that it will tell you where in the casino those machines are located. So it'll say, yes, these machines are are in the casino, but I'll tell you, like, go over to the, the center bar or go over by the players' club, to the left of the players' club, so it'll tell you where the machines actually are in the casino. Yes. Now, so once you have that machine, I showed you strategy cards. We have winner's guides for six games. The These are about 120 pages long. When I teach my classes, the beginner class, we cover the first 30 pages. In the basic class, uh, we'll cover the first 60 pages. The last 60 we would only cover in an advanced class. Um, these give the same strategies as the strategy cards, but they give lots and lots and lots of examples and tests. Every interesting hand that you could have a problem with is going to be here. Um, you're not going to be asked how to, if you're dealt four aces, whether or not you hold them. That We don't ask you that in these books. But when you have two high cards and three cards to a straight flush, there's lots. Sometimes you hold the high card, sometimes you hold the three cards to a straight flush. And it depends on lots and lots of different things. And it depends on different things in different games. So those are the kind of problems that people have trouble with. So we give lots of examples of that. Okay, one thing we need to make sure that people understand is that the strategy will change. You could be playing jacks or better, but if the pay table changes, it can change the strategy. So every time there's a change in the pay table, uh, the, the strategy can change. And does change. There are, uh, if one of the, if it pays f six for one for the flush or five for one for the flush, there's a number of things that are different about the strategy. Uh, depending on whether you're playing it at the beginner level or the advanced level. At the advanced level, there's lots of differences. At the beginner level, not always so much. So, uh, I wrote a number of books. The first one was an autobiography. Steve mentioned it uh, very nicely, Million Dollar Video Poker. This was how I started in 1994 with a $6,000 bankroll. Seven years later, was able to make a million dollars in six months. This was book of the year casino player for four years in a row and um, tells you how to do it. We talked about this a little bit earlier. My latest book is called Video Poker for the Intelligent Beginner. This um, covers every game basically. In the first part of the game, I'll just open it up kind of at random, on this page was bonus poker deluxe pay schedule and on this side was super double bonus pay schedule so all the games have their own page as to what makes bonus poker deluxe different than bonus poker or what makes double double versus different than super double double and it also gives you the pay schedule and how much it's worth so this will help you recognize the value of each game this book also talks about uh, slot clubs. It talks about using the software proficiently. It 
talks about doing video poker tournaments, which is a different skillful activity than playing video poker in a casino. Somewhere along the way, I decided that what the world needed was video poker sex novels. Not sure why I decided that, but we have Sex Lies in Video Poker and more Sex Lies in Video Poker. These are, the first one was based in year 2000, uh, mainly surrounding the Golden Nugget in downtown casino. The second one was based a few years later um, at the Palms Casino. Um, the video poker in here is very realistic. It's, um, both books describe how smart players deal with changing slot clubs and limited information. Um, like Plus a little erotica in there. There is some, there is some erotica in there. I've had more compliments on these books from <laughs> females than I have from males. But if you're, um, if you're a deacon at a Baptist church, you probably won't want these. But we have two of those. The last thing, which in some sense is the first thing, is software. Because I sell software and there's others out there. My software, Video Poker for Winners, works on PCs. It's a Windows-based program. It does not work on tablets. does not work on Apple products. does not work on Android products. There are other software products that do. You need software if you're going to play video poker successfully. The biggest two things it does is tells you how much the game is worth. You can enter in any pay schedule and it will tell you what the game is worth. And otherwise, it allows you to play and corrects you when you're wrong. If you have not used video poker software, you have no idea what a bad player you are. Um, you can have the strategy sheet and you can think you're doing everything right, but until the computer comes back and says major error, which it will do probably half the time when you first start, even if you think you're pretty good, um, you have no chance to get a lot better. Software is relatively inexpensive, uh, and there's several good brands out there. Video Poker for Winner is a good one. Uh, Wolf Video Poker is a good one. Win Poker is a good one. And most strong players have all of them. They're, we sell them for $30, 40 or $50 a piece. But for people who are putting thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars through the, through the machines a year, relatively small price, they all do about the same thing, but we each have our own specialties. So there's a lot of studying. You cannot watch a 15 or a half minute, 15 minute or a half hour podcast and go, well, now I'm a professional player. It doesn't work that way. You have to get so you can play on the computer and with like 99 plus percent accuracy. The edges you have in casinos are very small. They make it so that somebody like me, who's been doing this for almost 25 years and doing it at a high level, I can do barely okay. I can play with a small edge and succeed at it. But if you don't have my skill level and you aren't close, they're going to have the edge over you. You can get good with practice. You can get good with study. But it is not an easy road to hope. Okay, so let's go and recap a little bit. So number one, it is still possible to become a professional video poker player, in your opinion. Yes. Nowadays. Okay, so you've got to find the right machines. you got to use the right strategies. You've got to find a good players club that gives you good benefits to try and bring that uh, return over a hundred percent and you need to when I go back to say the right strategies you need to practice with software ideally so you become proficient at and one thing I, I when you were showing your software I thought of two things one uh, the which I don't think you mentioned was that you can print out strategy charts from your software yes so uh, you don't necessarily need to go out and, and buy 20 different uh, strategy charts if, if you there's a particular game you want, you can put in the pay table and then print out a, a strategy chart and bring it with you into the casino. And the other thing that, what, that I like about your software is you can play the uh, triple play, five, uh, five play, ten play, fifty play, hundred play games on there, which are a lot of fun. 
So you have that on your software, which no one else has. That's correct. And although triple play through 100 play, as a fun factor, the strategy is not any different than single line. However, multi-strike, which is a four-line game where you pay for all four lines at the start, and you only get to play the second line if you get a winning score on the bottom line, and the strategy changes all four levels, that's um, strategically very different than regular video poker. Nobody else has that. It's one thing video poker for winners has. Oh, you have multi-strike on We that? have multi-strike. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's and a the, fun game. And the other factor we have that is relatively rare is a bankroll calculator. We can, both short term and long term, we can look at how much bankroll you need to go out and play an hour of the blah, blah, blah game for quarters. Or we also have a long term bankroll, which is how much you need to play the game forever. Um, now, obviously, you're not going to live forever, but it gives you a sense as to what the swings can be. And one of the things on playing it forever is you always, you learn very quickly if the return is under 100%, the probability is zero that you're going to succeed at it. Okay, now let's, uh, so we, we've told the people the basics of what they yes. need to do to try and become a professional video poker player. And let, let's just finish up with one, this one last question. Now, how much money are they going to make? Uh, if they're a quarter player, what could they expect to make? If they were a dollar player, what could they expect yeah. to make? And maybe throw in if they were a five dollar player, what could they expect to make? Way too many variables. For the guy listening in Kansas City, it's going to be different than the guy listening in Tunica, which is going to be different than the guy looking at Salt Lake City who there's no casinos in his state. There's just, it depends on exactly what casinos, exactly what games, uh, your competency and um, well, so can 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 well. If we say you're a professional video poker, you can make a living at it. If you want to make a living, say you want to make forty thousand dollars a year, I would imagine it's going to be a lot harder if you're a quarter player than it is if you're a dollar player or a five dollar player. Assuming you had a favorable favorable situation where you had an advantage over the casino, uh, you know, the higher your average bet, the more the more money you're going to make. Yeah, when he says quarter players, he's usually talking about five coins at a time, which would be true for single line. And as a quarter, five coin player, a dollar and a quarter a hand, it is essentially impossible to make 40000 a year. It just The games just do not exist that okay. you can do that. If you were playing quarter hundred play, which is $125 a hand, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, there are probably... A few hundred people in the country who average more than forty thousand a year. Not a big oh, so, number. So it's a difficult thing to it do. It is a difficult road to hoe. Um, it's easier in Las Vegas than it is in most places. There are better games in Las Vegas than there are, but you have a lot more competition as well. There are a whole lot of people in Las Vegas playing. They have classes here. Um, I teach two 10-week semesters a year at the South Point. If you're going to come to town, check out bobdancer.com and to see if there's any classes around uh, going on at the current time. Uh, so there are gambling radio shows. I have one called Gambling with an Edge. You can check that out at gamblingwithanedge.com. Um, so there's lots of information here in Vegas that isn't available in most other places. So, yeah, there's a lot of successful players here, but there's more unsuccessful players here, too. Okay. So, again, uh, to recap, if you follow these procedures, it is possible to become a professional video poker player. Difficult to make huge amounts of money, but even if, even if you were a recreational player and just wanted to sort of get an edge over the casino, that's a lot easier to do than, than to try and become a professional and make a living off. Yeah, if you're talking about making at least $5,000 a year net profit, now we're talking about thousands and thousands of players are doing that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you have small edges, and you get free or meals, free hotel rooms, various benefits. So, yes, on a, uh, 
on a $5,000 or more basis, there's lots of them. On 40,000, there's fewer. 100,000, there's probably less than 20. Okay, now if people want to get more information about you and your products that the, they've seen here today, what's the best place to go to for that? Thank you for asking, bobdancer.com and gamblingwithanedge.com. And check out our radio show. It's geared for people who want to be better gamblers. And, and I listen to that show myself. It's a great show, and uh, you'll enjoy it. So, Bob Dancer, thank you very much for being here today and spending time with us. Thank you, Steve. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.